most exciting changes for me is that whereas in the National Theatre version of Hades Town and even in Edmonton, Orpheus has now sort of shedded a bit of that bravado and traditional mascul masculine energy for guilelessness. Or an as there's an aspect of him having no guile, which I love. And I think it affects the different characters in different ways and certainly has an effect on Orpheus and the way that I play him. So I'm excited... It, feel, it feels really nice. And we haven't done a full run-through in the theater yet, but I think we're going to do that tonight. Oh, sure. Wow. Thanks. Uh, oh, I put out an album um, fairly recently, I guess, uh, called Youth is Wasted. And um, I sometimes uh, the next show, March 31st, I'm going to be playing primarily songs from that album. There was a set where I did a tribute to Queen. And I think I'll do another tribute to another one of my favorite artists over the course of the run in Hades Town because I'm going to try to play at the Green Room 42 at least once a month, maybe more, maybe twice, three. I don't know. We'll see. Once I get the eight show, see how eight shows a week feels here, and then I'll start doing that. How does it feel to be back on Broadway? Oh, there's no better place. It's amazing. I mean, I'm from New York originally, and um, my time on Broadway before now has been incredibly rewarding. It's, it's such hard work, but in a way that it's like if you like to work out, which I don't particularly, but there are people who that's hard work, but it feels good, you know. That's kind of how Broadway feels to me. Sure, yeah, I've, I've built a studio because with the Broadway hours, you oftentimes with matinees in particular, you know, you, you can work between sort of, it wouldn't make sense to have a 12-hour lockout in a, an actual recording studio. So I built it just so I could s see what would happen. And then I finished the entire album there, <laughs> including the drums, which is kind of crazy. But I built some things so that people couldn't hear them. But I don't know how that worked. That was pretty crazy. It's what too easy. It's no, not too easy. It's just she. Um, when you have a uh, gratefully easy, um, I think in an actor, the best thing that you can have is trust, and we really all have that with one another. And so, w when you're playing lovers, you you really need that trust. And so it's it's like water. It's so easy. I'm coming away for me. I hear the walls repeating. those things affect your performance and one thing that I'm going to start playing with more is figuring out because there's a much wider span in this house in terms of uh, vertically speaking so figuring out where exactly to play the majority of your performance is the thing that I'm not totally sure of yet I think because you have the people here they're lower than they were in the national at the lowest point and they're much higher than they were in the national at the highest point so just figuring out at what moments it makes sense to play things up and down and yeah, my mom's an incredible jewelry designer. My dad's an incredible songwriter. My mom's also an incredible songwriter. And um, my brother and sister are also incredible songwriters. It's kind of crazy. And uh, my brother's an amazing guitar player, singer. My sister as well. It, it, they do a lot, so it's kind of hard to say quickly. But uh, also our uh, great uncle is a guy named Art Carney, which I don't know if you knew that, but that's uh, from The Honeymooners. I haven't told any guys in the theater. I'm excited to tell the crew here because... When I told the crew at Spider-Man, they were like, what? They treated me like like, uh, like I was in the royal family or something. I'm like, <laughs> that's pretty cool. They were really excited to hear that I was related to Art Carney. Definitely. I will try when I can figure out a time when Zane and Paris can both be here, I'm going to talk to Daniel Dunlow and see if we can do a set, and Keith Hurd, and see if we can organize something with Zane, Paris, and myself. <laughs>